Hi, this is a graphic star tutorial developed with Applet in Java Eclipse. So let's go into Eclipse now and put one of these together. So let's do that, guys. Hi, and welcome to Eclipse tutorial. In this session, we're going to work on an Applet, and this Applet will have some circles, graphical circles. Okay, let's go to file and start a new project. And I'm going to just call it Applet Star underscore stars. Right, that's going to be the name of the file. So let's click on finish. Now let's select the package explorer and look for our Applet Stars. There we go. Right click on the file itself and go to new. Let's select a class. That class, I'm just going to call the name a play star as well and click on next. Okay, so in here, I'm going to include extend java.aplate.aplate. I'm calling it a play star because I'm going to be developing an a play. The next thing I like to do is to import the following. So let's say import. Java dot a w t dot all. So we're going to need that and and the following I needed as well. So right in here, I'm going to enter as follows. Where I will add my graphics. Okay. So okay. Now that I have my method for the graphic in place, the first thing I like to do is to set the back color. I said back. This is how you write back color or background color using a plot. So I'm going to say color dot. Let's see. I don't know. Let's just pick any color here. Let's set to for light gray. Okay. And enter semicolon there. Now G dot set color so that will be for my fonts now that's going to be color dot black then the next thing I like to do is let me define the font I intend to use font so that is supposed to be an object for the font font f or Let's say text font equals new font and I'm just gonna go for a well known font time new Roman. Okay, that's the font I intend to use and let's put a comma and now let's enter the size for my font. Make like that fifty-eight comma and let's say G dot font set font right here and that will be text font. Now let's ask the system to draw out this Font it says string draw draw string and the string I wanted to draw. If you notice, you can see the three argument one, two, and three. So my string is the first one there. So let's enter. I'm just gonna call it graphic a plate graphic a plate star tutorial. And in here, the x coordinate, I'm going to make that 250, and the y coordinate, let's make it about 40. Right, that's 40. Okay. Now we need to close this one. Let's close it. There we go. 
So let's try this out and see how it's going to look like. Okay, that's how it looks with the font argument set to 1. So let me close that and change the argument here to 2 and let's see how it's going to look like. And this, let's see if we increase it to about, let's go for 68. And let's see. So the 2 we actually increased, change it to italic and this we increase the font size. So let's see what's going to happen there. You see that guys. Okay, so let me just change it to 3 and see and return this back to because that seems to be too much let's say 60 there and 3 let's see what's gonna happen with 3 there okay and you may let's try out maybe 4 there so I'm gonna have to set to 4 well, let's try out six and see. There, you see, six is kind of like playing as well. It's not bad. Okay, I'll leave it at six. Now, the next thing we want to do is write underneath here. Let's declare the following integer int x point. That will represent my x axis so i'm going to declare the following array so for the coordinate that's to be 55 let's go for two six seven one zero nine three let's go for eight three fifty five so 7, 37, these are all the arguments that the star will be using. So, they are all in form of an array. Right, repeat the same thing for the y axis. And the same thing is repeated for the y axis. Let's correct this, let's change it to points. There we go. Now, the next thing we want to do is, let me create my graphic. that will be 2 2d so g2 that's the name of this very object equals graphic 2d copy that so I type in all over open a bracket paste and that will be as ask it to get get graphics now I'm just going to copy that so this is 3 let's make it 3 and just make this 4 right now let's specify the general part general general part for this star equals new general part there okay now what is let's add the star star dot move to and let's enter the argument there I want you to move that's the x position x point Do I have x and the y point let's copy that and change that to y right there and now let's specify the start location that will be 0 and 0 and this one will be 0 as well 0 and 0 ok now let's use a for loop to make this system loop around. Okay, that's my for loop that would draw the very first one, which is the that would draw the coordinate for each of these objects for me. And right 
underneath here I've also speed up the for loop that would draw the graphic that would draw the round graphic using Mathematics pi. Okay, if you notice, I've divided the pi by 10. You can divide it by 20, the choice is yours. And underneath here, I've selected random colors, and this is how you generate your random color there. Okay, so if if I decide to run this now, this will only give me just two circles, two star circles. So let's run it and see. You see that? The first one and the second one. Okay, you can reduce all of these if you want. The choice is yours. Okay, let's copy it. I'm going to copy just this. There we go. And I'll just speed that up for the for the other two there. So let's move it down so that you guys can see the lines of codes. Look at that. So you can just copy it and use it for your own for your own uh, graphic tutorial. So let's try it out and see how it's going to look like. There we go, guys. Look at that. That is beautiful. And that's how you draw your own graphic a plate stars using a plate. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.